Hello Seekers, you have made it to the Tarot Magician's channel. My name is Ricardo Gallart. Thank you for watching this video. Today, I'm going to try and answer the question, do they miss me? This is another pick a card tarot reading, and I'm going to try and, and talk about what the situation is with this person, um, you know, what they feel. Also, I'm going to give you guys some general advice uh, towards the end of the reading. So, as you guys probably already know, the process is very simple to this pick a card. I'm going to put the timestamps in the description for you guys to be able to fast forward to your group. But this is right here is group one, this is group two, this is group three, and this is group four. So, group one, group two, group three, group four. You also have four stones in front of you. I'm going to please take a moment so that you can select the group and fast forward to your group. If multiple groups call to you, then definitely go to that group as well. Okay, welcome group number one. Your very first oracle card, this is the unicorn oracle card, is polarity. Okay, so we've got polarity here, and um, you know when this card shows up, essentially it's an integration of your shadow of your shadow side, or at least an acknowledgement of it. So it's telling us integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Um, so very very interesting here with this card. Now we're gonna need more cards to put around this one to get a better understanding of what the message is. For that, we're going to go ahead and use the energy oracle deck okay all right so we've got the man holding a coin here we've also got the door to value and we've got hostilities. Okay, so what I am seeing here is this person, and and, and you know I get this this heavy male energy with the man holding a coin. Um, what I am seeing here is that this man, uh, it, this woman, is very interested in money. They're very interested in value. They're very interested in resources. Um, so they're they're chasing after this very aggressively, and it's created some problems for them. Um, I don't think perhaps that they're they're chasing after this money in the best of ways. I think that there might be some uh, some I would say shadiness going on um, in in obtaining this money. Uh, maybe they're bending the rules just a little bit to get this money, or at least an attempt to do that. Um, so I am seeing that they're trying to, they're trying to get to that place, right? They're trying to get to that place of value. Um, as you can see here, you know, with this door, we have the doors opening. These are heavy doors. Um, it takes a lot of effort to open them, but. Um, once they're open, as you can see, there's money flying out. So there's an incredible amount of value there. Um, this is a person that's chasing after that. They really do care about that. They um, that's their main concern. And and I think that you know this hostilities card. I think it's more their life, their experiences. Um, they feel like they need to make this money. They feel like they need to go out and 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 um, and just have that value and and be able to provide for the people around them be able to provide for themselves so this is definitely someone that's that's very oriented um or money oriented or, or maybe even power uh hungry definitely wants the best things in life and will do whatever they need to in order to obtain it um now that doesn't answer the question right what do they feel about you so for that we're going to go ahead and throw some tarot so we're going to use the Art Nouveau tarot deck. What do they feel? Okay. 
All right, so we've got the star. We've got the three of cups. And then we also have the ten of cups. So, interesting energies here. Um, they really care about you. They really care about you. Now, here's the thing with this, these hostilities, this man holding a coin, door to valley polarity. They don't see you as, as perhaps someone that they can, that they can come and have a normal life with. And I think it's because they're involved in something that might be harmful to you. Or they may, it may just be a product of their own imagination. They may think, okay, if I involve her too much, if I, if, if I bring him or her in, um, and I, you know, I'm in this relationship, then things might go wrong and it, it might not work out as I want it to. And, and their intention is to protect you. They want to shield you from something. They, they want to shield you from, I think, themselves, honestly. This is definitely something that they are perhaps uh, uh, doing that they just don't feel comfortable with bringing you around. Um, I don't think that they, they think that you would be very happy if you even knew. Um, I feel that they're being deceptive. Um, they're just not telling you what they're up to. And, um, and they feel that if they did, then you essentially, you know, you, would, you wouldn't accept it. You wouldn't be all that happy with it because you'll understand, like, that's not how we need to make the money that we need to make the money. We need to do it a different way. Um, we need to operate in the light. We cannot operate in the darkness. Um, we can't, there can't be any gray area. We need to be able to do this the right way. And I think, you know, they feel that um, you would maybe not be too happy with that, uh, the, with the decision that they've made. And the decision that they've made is that they're going to go after this with a lot of, of, of just fear. Just, they're going to take over. They're just going to try and build an empire for themselves. And they're definitely on this path. They're, they're not going to stop. They're on this path of value and, and building wealth and building prosperity for themselves. So let's talk about general advice. I want to go ahead and talk about general advice for this. I want to go ahead and pull more tarot. All right, so we've got the uh, Six of Pentacles, we've got the Nine of Wands, and then we've got the Star. Okay, so the Star was reversed. What this is telling me is that it's important for you to respect this person's decision, even though they care about you infinitely, even though they miss you. Even though they wish that perhaps there can be some kind of, of enjoyment and family and prosperity, and it's not prudent, um, at, at least not where they're at in life right now. Um, so that is definitely the general advice that I see here. But to answer the question, do they miss me? The answer to that is yes, they do miss you. Um, they want to protect you. They want to be able to just offer something to you that at this time they cannot offer which is protection which is making sure that you're going to be okay making sure that nothing is going to happen to you making sure that you're safe that i feel that they feel it's the the foundation to a relationship and um if they can't have that knowing that you're going to be safe and that you're going to be okay they're willing to perhaps you know not be a part of this is what I'm seeing here. And I want to go ahead and throw more tarot because I want to get a better, clear understanding of this whole situation, to be honest. This is an interesting reading. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I went back. I wanted to go back to what they feel just to get a better understanding. This is the Wildwood Tarot that we're using here. Um, the Guardian and the struggle. I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about, uh, ladies and gentlemen. 
he feels like he needs to, he or she, I keep saying he because he comes to us as a man holding a coin. I just see a lot of male energy here, but um, they essentially, they come to us as the guardian. This is what they feel that they are. They're the guardian. They need to guard after you. They need to take care of you. They need to, to make sure that you're okay. Um, and with what they're doing right now, it's a struggle. It's a big struggle. They they know that they're not going to be able to 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 give you um, that safety, that guardianship that you need. They can't protect you how you need to be protected. And um, there's just this kind of feeling of I can't give her exactly what I think that she needs or he needs or, you know, it, it's it's a very uh, kind of hasty situation where they want to be with you. They um, they miss you, but they just can't protect you so there's that there's that block now i actually want to throw another card i want to just get a clear understanding of the advice that's just the general advice on your end okay. there's other energies here all right so we've got the king of swords reversed and we've got the King of Wands reversed. So it's it wouldn't be smart for for you to perhaps entertain the idea of reaching out. The the advice here is for you to just back off for now. Um, don't reach out. Don't uh, try to to seek more answers. Don't try to follow their lead essentially this is what the general advice here is saying they they know why they can't protect you um and and there is this darkness to this person also there's this polarity um so they're in they're they're kind of in this gray area where perhaps they're, they're doing they're they're operating how they should they're doing everything lawfully but then there's also this part of them where it's unlawfully so be very careful with that, that that's the message here that's the advice here this person I see love here. I see care. I do see um, I, I just a, a wishing that, that they can come to you and, and celebrate and, and just have a good time together. That's what they wish that can happen. They wish that they can come and be a source of just peace, a source of prosperity. Um, they wish they can be this star in your life. The star has shown up twice in this reading. Um, so this is the Witch's Tarot. And you know they wish that they can that they can be that for you um but i do see other energies here so be very aware there's these two other there's these another other two male energies here that are showing up and um what I, what i'm getting with these male energies is that perhaps they're involved in something that it, there's other people involved in these dealings in these shady business dealings there's other men there's other situations just other energies that um they could cause you harm. So don't, for right now, take their lead. They care for you, but they right now know what's best. They know why they're doing what they're doing. So that is the advice. That is what I see here, Seekers. So please, if you like the reading, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I will be creating new content very soon for you, Seekers. And if you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you, there is an Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of the page that will provide me with a small commission at no cost to you. It just helps me buy the tools necessary to be able to grow the channel, expand. Please give me a like, that helps a lot. And finally, if you're interested in your own personal reading, uh, then please check the description below once again for the website link, which is tarotmagician.org. So thank you, Seekers, for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, welcome, group number two. Your very first oracle card for Do They Miss Me is Delight. All right, this is a very nice card. What this card is telling us is to count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. Man, what a beautiful message. So, you know, what this is telling me to answer our question does he miss me? From what I'm seeing here is they love your company. They love being around you. They delight 
in being with you. So there is definitely this presence of, I want to be around this person. Now let's go ahead and put more cards around this one and try and get a better understanding. So I am going to use this energy Oracle deck and we're going to talk about just the situation. What's going on here? Who is this person? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Man, this is kind of nice here. Um, you know, let, let me show you the cards. So we have the woman holding a heart. We have attachment. We also have victory. And we have indecision. Okay. So what this is telling me is that they not only miss you they love you there is love here okay they love being around you they love your presence they love your just your 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 general mood your your what you're interested in they like everything about you there is this just like now i do see that there's some kind of attachment in their lives that they can't let go, that's getting in the way. And what is leading them is to indecision. They just really don't know what they want. Um, even though they love you and they know that they love you, even though we, you know, there is this sense of the worst is over, there's love. I mean, once there's love, essentially the worst part is over. You can only build from there. So they love you, but there is this attachment that simply does not uh, um, let them go, that just doesn't let them come to you. And I think it might be another woman. I get this feeling, uh, or another man. For some reason, I, I saw a woman because we have this woman holding a heart. There's attachment, there's indecision. So um, immediately I get this feeling that there's another woman, but it could easily be another man. Um, and it's keeping them from making the decision to come to you, even though there, there, there is this love for you, there's this care for you. Um, so that is what I am seeing. Now, let's talk about you know what they feel. I think these four these five cards already answered that, but I just want to get a better understanding of this person, who they are, why is this indecision uh, coming about? For this, we're going to use the Art Nouveau Terra deck. Okay, so, you know, what we have here is Chariot, okay, we also have the Death card, and then we have the Six of Pentacles, interesting, interesting energies here. So, what I am seeing here is that they are someone who is unwilling to change, they... They're a bit scared of change. And and I think the reason why is because they, they, they feel like they're they, they've gotten somewhere. Um, maybe there's there's energy effort that has been put into this uh, relationship, this attachment. Um, doesn't have to be to another person. It could easily be an attachment to anything else that would keep them from making this decision. Um, you know, it, it could be uh, uh, just attachments to, to maybe things that are damaging to the body, the mind. Um, but I feel that it's maybe another relationship, but anyways, there's this inability with the chariot reverse to move forward, to, to expand their energy, to go to the next phase in their lives. They're kind of stuck in some kind of, of holding pattern and they just can't go. They can't move. They can't, um, go to the next area. They, they can't just let go. You know, there's no shedding the old skin to to you know bring forward the the new and you know it's leading them to this kind of um this inability to to give more of themselves to society and people so this indecision really it's a bit selfish on their part and it's damaging to their own lives this inability to see things clearly and and move forward that is very damaging. But I see that that's where they're at right now. They care for you. They love you. They want to be around you. 
um, it's you know I get this energy that they are so delighted by you they love to see you they love to see your face they love to see your skin they're very attracted to you physically they're attracted to you mentally they're attracted to you 100 percent the issue here is the attachments that they have um, this indecision and um, this inability to just they're comfortable they're just very comfortable right now and you know that comfort it's just keeping them there. They're, they just don't want to, to get out of that comfort zone. And, um, you know, it's definitely damaging them because let's see what it is that, that perhaps you can bring to them. And for that, we're going to use the Witch's Tarot. All right, so immediately what I'm seeing is that you are going to bring them temperance. You're going to bring them this, this sense, this feeling of equilibrium. You're going to give them exactly what they need. You're going to balance them out. With the Five of Pentacles reversed, I do see charity here. Um, and this charity, what this is telling us is that you are actually going to give him or her something that's going to just bring it all together for them so we got this uh, chariot for them kind of their energy uh, where they're at right now and what this is telling me and it was reversed so what this is telling me is that you have the capacity of turning this chariot upright you have the ability to get them going to get them excited to to get them prosperous right you have this ability you have this uh, this this talent to do this and they would benefit greatly from that. Now, let me go ahead and throw more tarot because I want to try and understand perhaps just a bit more about this person. And, and really, what is the general advice and what should you do? Because we already know what they feel. But, you know, what should you do? What is the advice? Okay, so we're using the Angel's uh, Tarot deck here. It's one of my favorite Tarot decks. And we have the Empress showing up. We also have the High Priestess showing up. And we have the Hero Font showing up. This is, I mean, this is magnificent. Uh, boy, oh boy. I mean, there's marriage here, okay? There's marriage in your future. We have the high priestess followed by the hero font, you know. So the the hero font essentially is telling us this is where I got the marriage from. This is bringing this divine energy down and just structuring it. Contracts coming to a a conclusion, like hey, we're gonna start a life together contractually under this society. We're gonna sign papers. We're gonna get everything underway. We're gonna seek uh, what we need to seek in life together. So that's what the hero font tells me with this person. That's what your mindset sets it should be. I, you know, this is potentially the, someone who you can marry, someone who you can uh, start a life with. Now, with the empress, the empress energy is I'm getting what you should become in their lives at this moment. And what I see with this empress, as you can see, this empress is just filled with beauty. There's just so much uh, beautiful resources around her. And what this is telling me is that you need to become this resource to them. So perhaps reach out, um, perhaps offer some kind of advice, offer some kind of, of understanding. I did get the high priestess reversed. What that tells me is don't focus too much on the spiritual side of things. Be more practical because we also have the hero font. Talk about all of the wonderful things that life has to offer, all right? Talk about prosperous things, talk about happy things, talk about your, maybe uh, what this uh, future would look like, or, or hey, where would you go right now? Like, hey, you know, it would be nice to go to the beach, maybe get some fruit. Try and think of activities that you can do with this person, offer it to them, um, just present yourself, be more available. Um, definitely with the High Priestess reversed, um, don't make all of your conversations about spirituality. Um, there's a tendency to do that here for some reason. Um, 
you know, I for some reason I got the high priestess reverse and the hero farm reverse, so definitely some interesting energies. But they, you know, I can see that. I can see how they both balance themselves out. It's telling you to be more practical with this person, um, and and also proactive as well. Now I want to go ahead and throw. I want to get more information. I want to go back and see, you know, what they're going to see if we, I can give you any more advice for this. I'm using the uh, Grand Lux Tarot. Okay. All right. So you got the Emperor, and you also have the. Uh, five of coins reversed so what these cards are telling me as an add-on to the advice is for you to for you to to take take a leadership role okay so it seems that this indecision that they're going through it's not going to resolve itself anytime soon and this attachment that's going on you need to address that so when I tell you to be more practical I mean, be a little more confrontative. So it's like, you know, you might come at them and you might say, okay, look, um, is there something going on? Is there something that's keeping you from me? That's an example of something that you can ask. Is there something keeping you from maybe going and having some ice cream? As an example, um, see what they say, but try and bring it out of them. Try and see why there's this indecision. Um, try and see where this attachment is leading them. Um, and understand that they delight in you. Remember, this is the theme of the of the reading. So they love being around you. So they're going to definitely want to be with you. If you reach out and you're proactive, they're going to be receptive to you. They're going to be receptive to your energy. They're going to be open. And they're going to say, okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, yeah. And then as you start maybe going out with this person, you're going to realize and understand that there is a process, that there is more depth um, and there is definitely something more than what they've already been giving you or presenting you with. Um, so it is beneficial for you to do that. So that is what I see here, Seekers. If you like the video, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I will be creating new content very soon for you, Seekers. If you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you, there is an Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of the page that will provide me with a small commission at no cost to you. It just helps me buy the tools necessary to grow the channel, to expand. Uh, please also give me a like. That helps a lot. And finally, if you're interested in your own personal readings, then please check the description below once again for the website link, which is tarotmagician.org. Thank you, Seekers, once again. Thank you for all the love. Um, thank you for all the kind words. You've All of the comments that you leave me, I read them all. And um, thank you. Thank you for all the love that you guys have, and girls have given me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, group number three, welcome. And your first oracle card is patience. Patience, patience, patience is your first oracle card. And this beautiful uh, unicorn card reads, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Ooh, that's a very interesting card. And I'm going to tell you why. I feel from from just you know getting the understanding and 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 asking the question, do they miss me? I think that not only do they miss you, but there's something more waiting underneath this 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 missing. Um, so they definitely want to be around you. But this card is telling you to be patient. There's something going on. It's telling you to have fun, to play, to just be something else. Um, to not worry so much about this person at this moment. Um, to understand that there is a process. Something is going on. Now, let's go ahead. I'm curious. Let's go ahead and put more cards around this one. And try and find out what is the situation. Why must be, we be patient? Why do we have to wait? And what's coming? What, what, what exactly is it that they are going through? What is their situation? My goodness, this makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we've got two archangels. My goodness, this is the situation that they're in right now. This person 
has is going through something very difficult i would say um we also have walking away and we have caring connections okay so this this person is someone who's filled with care they're filled with love they're filled with this um understanding and and just yearning um i do see that that there is just an immense amount of love and and understanding with them um but here's the thing they're walking away from something they're walking away from something that is not serving them anymore and that is taking more time and energy than you cannot believe and the reason why it's taking time and energy is because this person is very caring there is a sense of caring there's a sense of i don't want to break anyone's heart i don't want to disappoint them i don't want to be the reason why they feel upset um so there's definitely a caring energy with them and they just don't want to be too rash or they don't want to cause any pain any more pain than 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 it, what's being caused because obviously they're walking away from a situation and there is an incredible amount of energy surrounding them we have archangel michael we have archangel ariel working here okay and they're showing up in this reading why are they showing up they're helping this person break these bonds okay these bonds that don't serve them these bonds that are only damaging to them um they're helping this person and there's a process that's taking place which makes perfect sense why spirit is telling us be patient why do you have to be patient because there's a process there's there's so much going on under the scenes that you wouldn't understand so i see that this person cares about you um now let's go ahead and see how deep that care goes i'm going to throw more to some tarot for this I'm going to use the Art Nouveau Tarot. Okay. So we have we have the uh, Hermit. We also have Judgment and then we have the 4 of Swords. So interesting energies here very interesting energies this um this person is going through a lot of introspection they're going through a lot they're they're just thinking they're in their mind a lot um they're they're just they're they're under so much anxiety so much stress they feel it they're starting to feel this stress this anxiety this this uh yearning they know there's an energy around them that says you must walk away you need to walk away and you need to start new and they feel it so they absolutely care about you they absolutely miss you they definitely see something in you but this situation is keeping them kind of blinded to that it's almost like if they're not looking for anything right now they're not really thinking of you how you're thinking of them because there's just so much going on and um, with these powerful energies they're working with these archangels at this time archangel michael Archangel Real. So they're working with these intense, powerful energies at this moment, and working with these energies is it's it's making him or her see more than than they can. It's it, they're they're providing the time for this person to come to the realization that they must move on, that they must do something different, um, and it's just causing them an extreme extreme amount of anxiety because they do care they care too much they're caring people so the problem is that i feel that there's a relationship in their lives that has turned very sour and it's causing them an incredible amount of harm so they must move on and um, they just don't know how to do it it's very difficult but they're working with two archangels so these archangels are providing an outlet they're making it easier and the reason why these archangels are present is because this is a very serious thing and i feel that this person has an incredible destiny they have something that they came to this world to fulfill to do to achieve and these archangels are guiding this person through this process to try and bring them out 
of this situation unscathed. And that's the main issue here. That's the main issue here. How is this person going to be after they walk away? So these archangels are also providing healing. That's why you're being told patience. Even though they miss you, even though they want to be around you, even though there's a connection, you must be patient. You must have fun on your own. Don't obsess. There's a process that is taking place here. So definitely very interesting. Now, um, let's go ahead and just talk about the advice. Let's see what it is. What, what, you know, what can you do to make this situation better if there's anything? I'm going to go ahead and use the Witch's Tarot deck for this one. Okay, so exactly what the general message of this reading is patience. There, you, you know, I get this feeling that um, whatever time that you shared with this person was very, very valuable. There was a foundation that was built, okay? And that foundation is a very solid one, very solid foundation, very, very solid. You don't have to worry that, you know, it's not good enough or perhaps there's more, perhaps you need to be present more. You don't have to worry about that. The foundation is there, the foundation to your relationship. Now, with these next two cards, what they're telling us with these eight of swords reverse and the six of uh, i'm sorry the eight of swords and the six of wands reversed what i am getting with these two cards is that you cannot do anything hasty you have to sit down take a deep breath and not try and be or do something out of the norm um, so don't give too much of yourself at this moment patience is the general key word here patience okay what you want will come it will come it will manifest itself but if you come in or you try and step in and provide more of your energy than than is required then you're just going to exacerbate the situation and you're not going to help you're not going to help him her you're not going to help yourself you're not going to help these magnificent angels that came to just transform everything you're, you're going to make the situation worse so this reading is telling you to take a step back and be patient don't don't be don't give more of yourself than you need to so i also want to go ahead and throw another a uh, couple cards i want to just get a better understanding honestly of just what's going on you know what 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 closing messages can we receive from this this, this is the wildwood tarot <laughs> i mean yeah 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 okay so we got the otter, which is, it's my favorite animal. Why do I like the otter? The otter is a very fun animal. The otter loves to have fun. The otter is always playing around. If you see the, the nature documentaries, the otter is always playing around. They don't care. They're just, you know, they build their homes and they come out and they have fun with their family, with their friends. This is just the most fun loving animal in the animal kingdom. I love the otter. You're also shown the Knight of Arrows represented, represented by a hawk. So you're being told to have a little vision. You're being told to be patient. You're being told to stand in your power, stand in your ground. Don't, don't, don't give too much. Be able to see clearly like the hawk can and you will have the revelation. Now, you also have responsibility. What this is telling me is that it's important for you to at this time focus on what's going on around you um, so maybe if you have some projects that you just haven't gotten to uh, perhaps there's uh, things that are mounting maybe you have some some things that you need to clean um, it's important for you to to be responsible it's important for you to focus right now on cleaning your space maybe doing cleansing or cleaning anything you need in order to get into that right frame of mind um, some visualization would work um, so definitely get yourself into this responsible mindset. Um, you know, there's new and exciting things coming for you in your life. Very exciting. The foundation is there. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to be anything else. You, all you have to do right now is have fun, have a little vision and also be responsible, be responsible for yourself, the things that, that you need to do. Um, and that's going to just allow for the universe to say here you go 
here it is, here's what you've been waiting for, and it's packaged perfectly, okay? That's the message that I see here, uh, Seeker. So thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, 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 Seekers. I will be creating new content very soon for you. And if you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you, there is an Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of the page that will provide me with a small commission at no cost to you. It just helps me buy the tools necessary to continue to grow and expand the channel. Please give me a like, that helps a lot. And finally, if you're interested in your own personal reading, then please check the description below once again for my website link, which is tarotmagician.org. Thanks, thanks to everyone once again. Thank you for all the love that you're showing me, Seekers. I read every single comment that you guys send. I respond to all of them, or I'll try. Um, you know, I don't know um, how many comments I'll get, but I'll try. I do read them all. Thank you. Thank you. Those words of love and encouragement, they mean everything to me. Thank you. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night, wherever, wherever you guys are. Bye-bye. Welcome, group number four. Your very first oracle card is Adventure. All right, I love this unicorn card. And what this card is telling us is dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Um, so I mean, it doesn't doesn't answer the question, do they miss me? Um, but definitely what I'm getting this this feeling of is they they like to 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 have adventures with you so they definitely maybe like going out um so and they they enjoyed your company they, they you were this this grand adventure and let's go ahead and throw more cards i'm going to use this oracle energy deck and i'm going to try and get an understanding of the situation i mean who who are these people who is this person what are they going through Okay, so interesting cards here, interesting cards here. This person, their main concern right now is work, manifestation. They want to to try and create something. They're definitely working on something um, lucrative. You know, you have the magician and the mirror here. Um, and it was reversed, so there are challenges right now that are taking place. Um, there's this sense of they're trying to just manifest something, they're trying to create something great, they're trying to, to bring this into the world, but there have been challenges, and there's this anxiety that's been building up for them. And, you know, this anxiety, as you can see, this woman uh, is crying, there's a storm outside, this anxiety is going to end because we did get a reverse. So this anxiety, is, it's going to subside. It's going to come to an end. This is just a temporary thing. It could very well be because of the energies that are going around right now in the world. And you know exactly what those energies are. We don't need to go over that. But, you know, there is this sense that this person is working on something, but it's not working out fully. Um, they're just... They, they just, they're having trouble right now. They're trying having trouble manifesting this. Now, here's the interesting part. Whatever they're trying to bring into existence, they're getting help from high above. They're getting help from this seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. And what this tells me with this Archangel is that there's definitely some kind of occult knowledge, occult learning, very, very spiritual manifestations. You know, I get this feeling of, of magic, true magic, powerful magic. Um, so they're definitely manifestors. They're trying to bring something into existence. They're having trouble though. Um, they're having trouble, but th this is what I love about this person. They have a very sunny disposition. They're not going to be brought down, okay? They know that they're going to be successful. And that's why they're, what I see here with this anxiety, it's why it's reversed. These are temporary problems that they're experiencing now. And it's, it's kind of manifesting in this, uh, hold you know they're and they're stuck in this hold like it's not the right time and it's not working out right now but they're also very enthusiastic it will work out someday and it's going to happen so perhaps that is what they're just their obsession is i'm going to call it an obsession at this time because they really want to bring this into into existence now with the adventure card 
I also get this feeling that it is their general spirit. They're very adventurous people. So maybe this is a person that likes to study the occult, likes to read up on everything that there is about it, maybe go through different experiences in life. You know, I get the feeling that this person is a type that'll travel somewhere just for like a seminar um, and just to learn and expand and grow. Um, this is the feeling that I get with this adventure, this magician. Um, they're being led by, by more of an angelic force that's pushing them forward, that's helping them, that's, that's getting them to where they need to be. And, you know, this anxiety, it will pass. It will subside. It, it, is, it is temporary. Now, let's go ahead and throw some tarot because I want to get a better understanding of what they feel about you. And for that, I'm going to use the Art Nouveau uh, tarot deck. Hmm. Okay, so they like your entrepreneurship spirit. They like you. They really do. They see your beauty. They see you for who you are. I get this feeling that you are this worker. You're, you're someone that can bring anything that you can think of, you can bring it into existence. You are an entrepreneur. You're someone that likes to start new, new business ventures. And um, you like to, to see it from beginning to end. And you've had a lot of success doing this. So they see that. And they see that adventurous side of you. Uh, kind of like this venture capitalist, right? That likes to jump into new projects and create new things. You know, they're... With the moon, I just... I get this sense that they're just not really thinking about um, love at this moment. There is there is a sense of... of um, of mystery to you so they don't really truly know who you are 100 percent i know you know they see they see this this woman that's entrepreneur you know they see, they see this entrepreneurship in you they see this energy they see this adventurous energy but there's also more that they want i get this feeling that they haven't seen exactly what they want to see in you or maybe it just hasn't presented itself or maybe they're just so overwhelmed by this project that they're undertaking that they just haven't noticed the things that they should have noticed. They're, they've seen a side of you, but there's much more that they haven't seen and they want to. And they know that there's more. They know that there is this uh, a deepness to you, um, but they just don't know what it is. And, you know, there's, there's this feeling that you might be taken for some reason. You know, I, I get this uh, kind of a... Um, I'm, I'm just going to come out and say that it, there is some jealousy, I think, going on. So they definitely like you. Okay, there's this like. But there's this other male energy here that's presenting itself. Could be a man or a woman. but I, And it's reverse. So what I'm getting... the what I, what, I, what I see here is that perhaps there's uh, someone who they see and they just don't really like in your circle. Perhaps that person has spoken negatively of you to them. Um, they've painted a picture of you to them that's not real. And they've kind of believed it. And they've kind of constructed this illusion in their heads about you that's not true. They ha they believe that they knew who you were. It's like, this is an entrepreneur. And, and the thing is that they were right originally. But then this person stepped in and maybe offered just this... Uh, this kind of gray area they use the the language language that should not have been used and they got a bad image of you so then all of the things that they already knew about you now lies in kind of like this shadow right there's this darkness and now they're kind of trying to find their way to the truth uh, kind of like that uh, crab is trying to find its way um, away from these wolves and to the moon through the path but uh, they're having trouble so Let's talk about the advice. What is the general advice here? For that, I'm going to use my Angel's Tarot deck. Okay. Okay, so... There is this uh, opinion that they have of you that might not be, or I'm not saying, no, I'm sorry. It's not that it might not be, it's not correct. And 
as we've discussed, they believe that because of this negative energy here that, that put this doubt into their minds. So what's being asked of you is to move forward with haste. We have the Eight of Wands energy here. You see this angel um, uh, pretty much on top of these horses sounding the trumpet to move forward with haste. Um, and the reason why you need to move forward with haste is because you have to create a foundation, a foundation that will withstand the test of time. Now, how is that going to happen? You need to work diligently. You need to, it's important for you to maybe reach out, uh, talk to them, um, just, you know, be present. They, they are going through some kind of project and they've undertaken this, uh, adventurous, and uh, for them, it's this magnificent project, which is being backed up by an archangel and not just any art, any archangel, an archangel Uriel, right? So they're just having this, this moment where they don't really need anything else. They're in the sun. They're happy. They're content. They have right now what they need. They're happy to just keep working in this project and perhaps not have you. But I see that there is this misunderstanding here, okay? And it's important for you to clear it up because this person, I see a lot of value in them. Now, I want to go ahead and throw more cards and see what they'll bring you. Um, what are they going to bring you? Is this person beneficial for you? What will they give you? For that, I'm using the Grand Lux Terra. Okay, so, you know, I do see that they are, they're definitely going to, to provide you with this sense of prosperity. So we have the seven of coins here, okay, as you can see, this is a worker, she is very happy with her harvest, and um, she's worked diligently for this, and she's reaping it, so that's great. Um, I also have this... Um, king of swords energy here um so what this is telling me is that they're they're definitely going to help you in your development your mental development so this is i get this feeling with this project that they've undertaken this is someone who's very uh well versed perhaps in the occult or they're trying to be there's this sense of this uh scholar right someone who's studying someone who's learning who's in the world who's trying to learn new secrets and um, this is definitely someone that can put out fire. So we have here also the seven of wands energy. They're going to help you become a warrior. They're going to help you see more than, than you can see right now. They're going to help you find this magical wand so that you can vanquish your enemies, so to speak. So they're definitely going to bring you these things. Um, you know, it's up to you if these things are valuable to you. But what I am seeing is that if you want to truly, truly get to them if you if you value them and you want to get their attention you have to get rid of this negative energy this negative speaking this this uh convoluted image that has been presented of you they don't see who you are right now they did at one point with this entrepreneurship spirit they saw maybe someone that they can build a future with but then in stepped in this this uh energy this male energy here said something that they shouldn't and then distorted the image and that has kept them away from you. So it's important for you to maybe, you know, if you are interested in this person romantically, um, or maybe, maybe even as a business partner, I mean, I'm seeing here that, man, this is an excellent business partner to have. This is someone that's driven. This is someone that has even angelic um, energy surrounding them. So I get this feeling that whatever they touch will succeed. Um, there's this sun energy with them as well. So they're just people that are happy. They are, they're manifestors. Definitely very strong energy. Very good person to have around. Um, so, you know, it's up to you. Um, but they do definitely see a partnership with you. They saw it at one point. So, and um, you must work. It's important. I mean, we do also have this Ten of Wands energy here that tells you, hey, if you want this, you got to come get it. Okay? You, you have to put in some work, some dedication. That's the Ten of Wands energy. Even though it might feel exhausting sometimes, maybe, they're, maybe they don't write back. Or maybe they uh, they just don't really seem uh, 
all that into you or maybe they're just disconnected you know it's very hard once someone loses trust in you to to regain it so some action will be required there's actions that are going to have to take uh, place before this bad image of you is just you know eradicated so i also want to go ahead and throw some more tarot i'm going to use the wildwood tarot let me see what else what's the what other advice what can i leave you guys uh you seekers with Okay, so we have the stoat. We also have the foundation of life. And we also have hearthfire. So what are these cards telling us? That's the general advice. What these cards are telling us is that this person has value. This person is worth building the foundation that we talked about here with this four of pentacles this foundation that you have to work uh, hard to obtain with them, it's worth it. So there are definitely people who who you can come and, and, and have any kind of partnership with. It can be a business partnership. It can be uh, just someone who maybe you, um, you want to date uh, or just have some kind of romantic uh, relationship with. It can be a friend, but this person is well worth it. I see a king. When I look at this person, I see a queen when I look at this person. A lot of male energies here. Absolutely a lot of male energy uh, with the magician, the king of swords. But, you know, definitely this person is someone who's adventurous, someone who's fun, someone who you can learn from. Okay, someone who's analytical, someone who's going to teach you um, something that you don't know. So, and, and someone who you can celebrate with, right? Someone who who you can maybe bring around your family, your circle of friends. They're not going to be the type of person that comes in and it's, it's negative. You, you know the type. The, they come in and they just want to talk about negative things and just um, you know say that this isn't good enough, this isn't good enough. No. This is the person that comes in, encourages people, um, helps them through their problems, and says, hey, that's an excellent idea. Um, as a matter of fact, I think that if we were to talk a little more about that idea, something new can can come out of that. That's the feeling I get with this magician. So, um, very, very, very wise individual here. Um, they're going through a period of anxiety, but that's that's going to subside very soon. And it is definitely worth it. The foundation of life for me tells you that it's important for you to work on that foundation. And um, that is all I see here, Seeker. So I hope that the reading was helpful. If you like the reading, please subscribe, 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 Seekers. I will be creating new content for you very soon. And if you like any of the tarot decks that you see before you, there is an Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of the page that will provide me with a small commission at no cost to you. It helps me be able to buy the tools necessary to grow the channel, expand Please give me a like. And finally, if you're interested in your own personal reading, then please check the description below once again for my website link, which is terramagician.org. Uh, please also give me a like. That really helps. I've read every single comment that you seekers have sent. Um, thank you for the love. Thank you for all of the warm wishes. Thank you for just providing me the feedback that I needed, um, that I need. And thank you so much. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, please comment. I, I read it. I read everything, really. I read them all. I try to respond to all of them. So thank you for doing that. Thank you, seekers, and bye-bye.